you substitution. How did it become one over nine? Okay, let's have a look. First, we have the integral of two s plus three over three s plus two ds. Let's go ahead and put u equal to the denominator. So u is equal to three s plus two, and then differentiating both sides, we get du equals the derivative of three s in the s world is just three, and the derivative plus two is just zero. And then attach the ds here because we are talking about the differential. And then let's also isolate the ds. So right here, by looking at this equation, we can divide the three on both sides. So we see ds equals du over three. So it seems that if we replace the du over three with the ds, then we should just get one over three, right? How did that get one over nine? Well, here's the deal. Look at the u. It is just the denominator. Right here we have two s. This s has to be changed in terms of u as well. So have a look. Here is the s, and then we are going to isolate the s from this equation. And to do so, that's minus two on both sides. So we get three s equals u minus two, and then I'm just going to divide everybody by three. So s equals that's right. Yes, u over two, u minus two over three. So you can see that we have two threes on the bottom. That's how we get the one over nine in the front. But we still have to work this out. Also, check this out. Here we have the integral. Two is two, and the s is the u minus two over three. And then after that, we have plus three over the denominator, which is the u. And then the ds is. Du over three. All right, so the one over three can be put to the front, right? And then notice that right here,、mm, this has the over three. So why don't we get the common denominator for these two fractions? And to do so, I'm just going to multiply this by three and multiply this by three. And then I'm going to first put out the one over three from here in red outside of the integral. And then this three right here, I'm also going to take that out. And then they are just going to be multiplying. That's how we end up with the one over nine. And then we have the integral. This is out already. Let's just distribute this. We will get two u and then minus four. And then three times three. That's just going to be plus nine. So the numerator is two u minus four plus nine is plus five over u in the u world, just like that. So of course we have the one over nine in the front, and now we can just finish it. And to do so, we first multiply that's one over nine. Integrate this first. Let's split the fraction. So we are looking at two u over u plus five over u. And remember, we can do this when we have one thing on the bottom. You keep the same denominator throughout the u. All right. So this and that cancel. And now let me just put down the result right here. First, we have one over nine, and let's put down parentheses for the result of the integration. We are in the U world. Here we have two. The integral of two in the U world is two U. So here we have two U. Next, all right. Be careful with that. And then after that, we just add five. And then look at this as one over U. Integrating one over U in the U world gives us natural log. So natural log absolute value of u, and the reason is because u can be negative, and then you can put down plus here, or you can just plug in the three s plus two for the u, and then put down the plus c at the very end. That's usually how I like to do it. So I will do that too. So of course, let's distribute this. One over nine times two is two over nine, and the u is that. So we have three s plus two. And then take this, multiply by that, we get plus five over nine. Ln absolute value, the u is three s plus two. And after that, yes, we can put down plus c. Or, well, I will let、like、you address this issue. Right here, if you box this answer, it should be totally okay. But notice that if you do distribute this a little bit, you will see that this times that. Two over nine times three,、uh, we get that and that cancel, so it's two over three. 
and then we have s plus 2 over 9 times that is 4 over 9 and then the rest is the same right 5 over 9 ln absolute value is 3s plus 2 and then at the end we have that plus c so of course this and that are the same thing but here's the deal notice that here we have a constant 4 over 9 it has no variable right here right for this part and then at the end here we also have the plus c we add the constant the sum of two constants is just another constant so sometimes you may see the answer in the back of the book or in the software they will combine the constants and they will just present this as 2 over 3 s and then write down the function part which is 5 over 9 ln absolute value 3 s plus 2 and then at the end this and that they put it to be another constant so this red constant is a combination of this and that which is different than the original c so be careful with that and um, on the exam i believe that both of them should be okay if you are in my class if you put this down for the answer that's totally okay